Good evening, everybody. It's Kiki, and you're watching Peppers for Christ. Got another hot sauce review tonight. Haven't made a video in a couple days. Kentucky Bourbon Whiskey. Kentucky Bourbon Habanero. Well, I don't drink no more, but I love I love food that has whiskey in it. it tastes really good. This is uh, it's Kentucky Bourbon too. So this is a double check in here this is a product this is a Kentucky product bourboncountryproducts.com let's see the ingredients here cayenne jalapeno habanero vinegar tomato paste corn syrup Kentucky bourbon whiskey sugar salt natural flavorings and garlic let's see uh, Distributed by Inkland Enterprises, Louisville, Kentucky. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool. I like the uh, I think the label. It's pretty cool, man. It's uh, got a weird cut going on. At first, I thought that the label was torn, but that's just, uh, that's just how their label is. Pretty neat. I'm excited. I made a uh, fajita pizza tonight. I'm going to be putting this on top of my pizza. I'll do a quick review. Keep my family waiting. Oh, yeah. Smells good. Not too crazy about those flow restrictors. Oh, yeah. You're definitely getting a little bit more of the whiskey now that I uh, took this off. I don't think there's any alcohol in this. A lot of people are... I used to be really worried about consuming foods with alcohol in it because I got, I'm got i in recovery, 19 years sober. But um, I, think mo I think it all cooks out. I haven't seemed to have any problem with it. So, all right, let's go ahead and give this a shot. I love cayenne peppers in my hot sauce and habaneros. I'm a lover of all heat levels. The cayenne peppers and habaneros just have a good flavor. It's a good, good combination. Wow. That's good. That actually tastes like the barrel. You can definitely taste the barrel that the whiskey was in. Mm. It's got that um, got a little bit of that oaky flavor. Getting that little, just a little bit of whiskey. But not too bad on the heat. Heat for me is like a, a mild heat. I don't know. This could be hot for like a uh, a non. You know, an occasional spice person, somebody that's into occasional spices. This this could be, you know, medium or even high heat for them. This is mild for me. Flavor is really good, and it's it's thick, so it's not um, not real thin. A little bit of smoke. It has like a little bit of smokiness, so not not too much. You're mostly catching. Um, you're most, mostly catching like the, you get the, the whiskey barrel right off the top. So anybody that hasn't really cooked with uh, Kentucky bourbon whiskey, uh, try it. Find a recipe that has it. You'll you'll see what I'm talking about. You, you can taste the barrel that it's in. Um, this is really good. The habaneros really brings it out. The habaneros, they, they taste like they're... It tastes like it was made with, um, if I had to guess, uh, red habaneros. It tastes like red habaneros. It doesn't taste like uh, orange. You know, some hot sauces use orange habaneros. You can taste the difference between the habaneros. Uh, the, the, um, the tomato paste, and the corn syrup, it's not overbearing. This is really good. I'm going to take another shot off this stuff.
It's not real chunky. It does have it does have pepper bits in it. Oh man, that stuff's hard to put down. This is really good. So yeah, check it out. I'll drop the link below. Bourbon Country. Pretty awesome. Anybody in Kentucky, give them uh give them a try. Give them a shout out. Another uh, great USA product. Support your local farmers. Thank you guys for watching. God bless. This is Pepper Sir Christ.